Hey, welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. My name is Koja Kuna and I'm an artist. I draw and I mainly do that in my sketchbook. Here on YouTube, I hope to inspire you to do the same because it can bring you so much joy. A few weeks ago, I shared a video with a mega sketchbook tour and I'm afraid I have another one. Mega, maybe? It is my French sketchbook tour because um, I promised you in that video that I would share uh, this uh, sketchbook that wasn't finished then yet, but now it has been filled with a lot of drawings in Nice, in France. And then a few weeks later, I went to Paris, France, to teach a workshop a week long. So I would really love to show you the drawings that I did there, but also the sketchbook that I filled in class because I taught there, but I also have been following classes from the other teachers that were teaching in that week. And it's still kind of fresh. So I am very curious to see how I can implement the things that I learned in my own sketchbook practice. I have three sketchbooks for you to show, so let's go. Just to give this a little bit more context, I have been teaching on a trip to Nice, France with a company called The Blue Walk. Link will be below this video in the description. And on this trip, I taught an art class to the group every day. And of course, I have been drawing a lot every day. A couple weeks after that, I went to Paris for another workshop called Paris Sketchbook, organized by my friend Cynthia Morris. We invited a few of her friends to each teach a day in this week workshop in Paris. So now you know why this whole sketchbook tour has the theme France, la douce France. This is a Hannah Müller Nostalgie sketchbook. It's A4 in size. And the sketchbook starts, of course, with my contact details. There we go. It starts at home with some fun adventures, drawing alone and with friends. And then there's a little bit of vacation in this sketchbook. A weekend away in the countryside, the Dutch countryside. And I want you to take note of this left page where I filled the page with panels. So I prepared the page with sort of random panels like a comic book and I filled the panels throughout the day. And this is really fun to do because you can go from left to right or start with any panel that feels the right size for the thing that you want to draw. And that way you are doing small drawings. So you're not spending like tons of time on a drawing, but just small drawings, small bits and pieces throughout the day. And by the end of the day, you'll have told a whole story in one page. And this page, I want you to keep it in mind because I want to encourage you to do that this week. And I love how my sketchbook is a place to draw daily stuff, but also fun adventures. And this is where my trip to France starts. So we're going to Nice. Here we are on the beach. Here's another example of preparing your page with panels. In this case, I started by painting panels with watercolor. So I already had something on the page and then bit by bit, I filled all the panels in with drawings on top of the watercolor. And then I traced the outlines of the watercolor shape, which I kind of like for the fun organic effect. This is the page of the first drawing session where we all loosen up with blind continuous line. And then the next day we do some more continuous line drawings. I love this technique of first painting the basic general shape of something that you see and then drawing with a contrasting color on top. This was speed drawing at the market, waiting for the ferry, demos, more demos, more demos. Visiting a cave, I got a taste of absinthe there. Another example of the panels. And that was the last day in Nice. Here I'm waiting to board in the airport. This is in the plane. This was a very interesting experiment where I followed a technique that I learned from Swaski, drawing a square, sitting in the middle of the square and then doing a 360 drawing. Here's just another taste of Nice during another mini workshop online. And I do these mini workshops every month. And if you want, you can join. The link is below this video. And then I am home, relaxing, a drawing in a cafe on a long walk. 
And here I am exploring greens in a sketchbook school spark session, which I do monthly as well. And that's the end of this sketchbook. Let's go to the next sketchbook, which is mostly in Paris. Well, it starts in Amsterdam in the park, Rotterdam too. And then I'm on my way. Do you see that coffee stain? I spilled my coffee. It adds to the story and it adds to the fact that it's alive and that it's almost an extension of me and part of my life. Here I am in Paris. It was very rainy, but that was okay. I had fun inside. And here we go. First day of the Paris sketchbook workshop. And this is Cynthia opening the workshop week. And then I had lunch. And here again, I am doing the big blob first and then the line on top. The Louvre Museum, seen from the Pont des Arts. It's quite an overwhelming building. But if you use this technique, it feels more gentle and it feels less scary. Drying while waiting for a meal. And these are pages from demos, we drew croissants and much more. And then we had a little sketch crawl. In my Airbnb, I had a French press and I broke it, but then I just bought a new one. I thought that was worth recording in my sketchbook. There's a lot of cafe drawings. And this one I feel really happy about because I was drawing on a boat tour on the River Seine. It is sort of a Frankenstein page of some of the things that I saw. Because, well, we were moving, of course, but it really represents that hour on the boat. And it's just not an existing place, but it is recognizable. And look at that, more panels. How fun is this? I went to have dinner by myself, drew these panels, and I filled them all while I was waiting for dinner, during dinner, and after, when I had coffee. Drawing on the market, I love that. Coffee with a friend. This was the evening after the closing session of our workshop week. I did this drawing after checking out of my Airbnb, and there was a skateboarder practicing. So I thought, well, she's practicing. I can practice my people drawing skills. My train was a little bit late, so I had more time to draw the people waiting for the train to depart. And I added some color pencil later when I was on the train. And there we go, on to the next page. So the previous sketchbook was a Hanne Mühle Nostalgie sketchbook, A5. Now I would love to show you the Paris sketchbook workbook. This is also a Hanne Mühle sketchbook. And this is their watercolor book, landscape format. I glued in the itinerary and Cynthia Morris opened the session. And these are all my notes. I love Cynthia's alphabet game. So you basically draw all the letters of the alphabet on a page. And then throughout the week or throughout the time until you have filled your whole sketchbook, you go back to this page to write things that you overheard or that came up in a conversation or someone's name and that way you create your own lexicon of that sketchbook and i love that i might keep doing that in my sketchbooks from now on because it's just really fun and it reminds you of some of the things that you might forget about later and then the next day, Marcus McAllister, he had fantastic and fun exercises using just a simple ballpoint pen, letting go of perfection. It was great. We did drawings of each other, blind contour, until we laughed and almost peed our pants. It was so much fun. It doesn't always have to be pretty pictures. Play and let go. It's just paper. Here I am doing my own assignment, drawing snippets. More notes of Lisa Sonora's session the next day. And she gave us some lessons about layering and collage. And I don't do that often, but I really, really enjoyed that. This is the handout that Marty Gregg gave us. It was all about using type and also how to divide a big building, for example, into simpler shapes so it becomes less overwhelming. These are notes and this is the eventual page that I did following his technique. And here we are on the last day of the Paris sketchbook workshop. Some reflecting, writing. 
the last page of my Paris sketchbook. I have all my notes for my session, plus some more notes. It's not really interesting or pretty, but for me these are important and or personal and or ideas that I didn't want to forget about. Let's get back to those pages with the frames just for a minute because I want to encourage you to do that today. Draw a few frames, maybe there's three frames, maybe there's five, maybe there's more. Draw squares, rectangles, maybe even a circle or a triangle. Don't draw them too small so you have quite some space to draw in and then fill them throughout your day or take the week for it. That would be fine too. Have fun! I hope you like that. Um, for me, it's always super interesting to look into other people's sketchbooks because you get a little bit of a peek in their visual brain, so to say, in their creative brain. And if you would like more of that, then you should buy my book. I wrote this book, self-published it, and it is actually really full of all kinds of creativity and uh, motivation and ideas for you to bring into your own sketchbook practice. I will put the link below the video so you can buy this online. If you like these videos, you probably will also like my mini workshops. I do these sessions monthly and I just extended them from one hour to 90 minutes. So we have a little bit more of drawing time and a little bit of show and tell for those who want to show their work. At the end, um, there will be plenty of time for Q&A and chatting and all the good stuff on a Zoom call. Also for that, I will add the link below this video. I wish you a very nice day. I'll be back next week with another draw tip. And um, in the meantime, don't forget to draw. Draw, draw, draw. Have fun. Bye.